What has mm -hmm. this hiatus, this past two weeks, been like for you and your brothers, your teammates? Um, it's been very different. Uh, figuring out different ways to occupy our time. Um, a culture shock. Uh, a lot of boredom. Uh, but, you know, interesting and uh, good time to spend with our families. Uh, hold our loved ones close and actually enjoy being home for a while. But I think guys are getting antsy and want to get back on the court as soon as possible. Danny, I uh, appreciate you being here, man. Uh, I want to know what level of communication, if any at all, that you guys have been able to have with one another. Are guys just communicating, you know, uh, you know, on Skype or FaceTime? Do you, uh, do, are guys taking risk in terms of seeing one another face-to-face, -face, keeping practicing social distancing, but still seeing each other? What kind of contact have y'all had with each other uh, since the pandemic uh, obviously came about? We, we haven't had any physical contact, um, since the Brooklyn Nets news broke, we had been tested that morning. The next morning, um, we all stayed in our cars, and then we went home. From there, we haven't really talked. Or we talked via text. Uh, we have a group chat. We talk in. Um, we've had a couple FaceTimes. I had my uh, Inside the Green Room podcast, where I had some of the guys on as a guest. But uh, outside of that, mostly just text, uh, no physical contact. I I'm sure that players get news about what kind of financial impact this has on them. And this is not like people waiting tables and doing construction and, you know, working people who have to worry about the paycheck to pay the rent to keep food on the table and the lights on and stuff like that. Still, everyone's worried about the financial impact that, that, the, that the pandemic has had on them. What has been communicated to you that you could repeat in terms of benchmarks that will start to hurt the player's bottom line. Local TV money, do you have to finish the season? Do you have to play a certain number of games? Do you have to play, you know, the playoffs? All those kind of things. What's been communicated to the players? Um, we're not promised a check past the first of this month, I believe. Um, so, you know, this is something that is very different than the lockout. We were able to prepare for the lockout and know that there was going to be no basketball for some time and save up. Uh, this time, guys were not prepared for this. This happened out of nowhere. Um, so they got to be smart with these last two checks that we received. Um, we may be getting past that. We don't know yet. Um, if we don't play the rest of the season, it will affect our check um, and playoffs as well. So we don't know. Everything is kind of on, on hold. So uh, we have to be very smart with our money. And uh, plan that this might be some time before we plan again. According to Vegas, the Lakers were the favorites to win it all. So it's really a unique situation for you guys, and you're truly a special team. How concerned are you that your season could potentially be over and you won't get a chance to fight for that championship? Very concerned. Uh, I don't think it'll be over, but the postpone can affect in a good and in a bad way especially if it takes a long time to get back. Uh, the chemistry that we built on and off the court, obviously off the court is still there. Uh, but on the court, um, it's hard to keep that rolling or keep that going back in the same direction. Uh, so we can hope that this thing goes away as soon as possible and we get back to playing, um, hopefully as early as we can, not mid, mid to late June. But um, if we get back sooner, the better for us. Um, hopefully guys will be well rested at that point and hopefully still in good shape.